before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta look at what the United Nations is actually up to. I mean, I've been talking about the new world order for, geez, several years. And, you know, so many people wanted to label it as the conspiracy theory. But, you know, honestly, I mean, this has been in plans. It was actually in, in the United Nations role here, by the way, Let's take a look at United Nations, first of all. United Nations was developed right after World War II. You know, it was the League of Nations beforehand, and it basically failed. So they created this at the end of World War II, and, you know, we're looking at 75 years right now. So what role have they played? It's really been in the role of keeping peace between nations, but the New World Order, this is something totally different. And it's broke down into different agendas, as they call it. You've got the Agenda 21, which is the 21st century, but then you've got Agenda 2030, Agenda 2050, and so there's goals to be done before that the United Nations would be the one world government. So all the governments around will have to go to. You look at United, you, you look at, you know, the United Nations now, and you know they are the ones who actually comes up with the international laws. I mean, every country, if there's a dispute between two countries, you have to go into their judicial system. Um, and, you know, not every country, uh, a country can basically, I don't want to say flip them off, but, you know, if they don't agree, then, you know, if you're big enough of a country like China or United States or somebody like that or Russia, I mean, could you get away uh, with uh, some of the things? Sure. And that's why China and Russia um, have kind of teamed together, but also why United States and China have conflicts. Um, but anyway, but let's take a look at the New World Order just for a second. So when you look at the New World Order, our world today, since this virus has taken place, you know, I'm not going to get into the virus right now, but, you know, I have to tell you, I knew about this virus in 2012. Um, and I'll share that in a further video of where I got that information. Now, I didn't know it would be. It could have been SARS. It could have been um, many other different, but I knew it would start in China, and I knew it would actually go around the world as a pandemic, and it was planned. This is man-made. This was man-made to actually launch the agendas that's going on right now. What are those agendas within Agenda 2030? And that is, first of all, a monetary reset. You know, monetary reset... You know, every government around the world, every economy, first of all, is in shambles. America is fixing to lead into that. But when you look at um, the monetary reset, every central bank is going to release a digital currency. You know, it was by design that Bitcoin was created. And, and nobody knows who actually created it. Come on. We know that it's the elites that created it. But, oh, it's a mystery. And the mystery was there, and, you know, you heard so many different things about, you know, oh, it was used for drug money. Well, before the Bitcoin, what was it? What was drug money uh, then? It was the U.S. dollar. So don't, you can't use excuses like that. This is all designed. Now, all of a sudden, you've got, it was a test market for the digital currencies that are coming out by the central banks. So you got to look at that, first of all. But secondly, you know, not only is this a monetary reset, a global, not necessarily just one nation, but globally. But number two is, is you got the universal health care. Universal health care is if you go from, if you travel from one country to another, and God forbid something happens to you, um, you get sick or you break a leg or something, is your insurance company going to pay for it or not? Well, universal health care I mean, this is something that it's kind of on the on the side or, you know, Obamacare, what, you know, the United States rolled out uh, recently. And, of course, some of the other countries already have 
um, you know, free health care. It's not actually free, but you're paying for it, but it's through the taxes. But still, you're having or you're getting uh, those, uh, that, that health care um, free, so, or supposedly free. But universal health care will cover you internationally wherever you go. Okay, so they're going to be rolling that out as well. They're going to be pushing that. You're going to hear more and more about that uh, as we move forward. Then you got the universal basic income. They're pushing that. You're starting to hear a little bit of what I consider chatter on that right now, but you're going to get that. That's coming. And, and the reason being is in, in, these are things that I'll be actually producing more videos on, which is AI and robotics. I mean, they're going to actually take jobs. So you're going to have people that are productive, and then you got people that are non-productive that don't have anything. Well, guess what? They get paid for doing nothing. And, you know, every, that's what universal income is all about, is to cover those people who don't have jobs. It's kind of what's going on now when you really look at it. So, and then you got the world health organization, um, you know, they're trying to push a vaccine. And, you know, I, I've got my questions about the vaccine, sure. Um, you know, it, it's not, it's designed uh, for what purpose? Um, you know, I've heard of, you know, there's a, there's, there's something coming down the pipeline of altering uh, DNAs uh, that, you know, is this rolling into that? Um, uh, you know, you also hear the, the, you know, overpopulation. I'm going to be doing a um, a video in the future on the, the population and in our and what we're up against there. But that's kind of what Agenda 21 is about too. I mean, we're eating ourselves out of everything, whether it's livestock or whether it's I mean, we're chopping down trees or you know everything. So Agenda 21 is is um uh. Is, is to address all these things, but Agenda 2030 is really focusing on really three things in the beginning. One is going to be the monetary reset. That is number one. And that monetary reset is where the central banks now understand the IMF. The IMF will roll out in the future a one-world currency, which will knock out. So, you, so, you know, and I'll be doing a video on... Um, on, on the financial or banking system, because what's going to happen right now is that your uh, your big banks are going to knock out all your mid and small size banks. That's coming. There is it, this is designed what's going on right now, but it'll knock out all the mid and small size banks. All right, so you'll be left with the top six six or eight big banks in the U.S. All right. Then, globally, the central banks will knock out the big banks. And then, eventually, the IMF will knock out the central banks. This is coming. It, it, it's, it's planned. It's in writing. Um, you know, these, these things have been discussed behind closed doors. So, you know, know that's coming. And this is part of the agenda as well. But when you look at Agenda 2030, there is, and, and you're seeing a lot of hatred across the world. It's designed that way. I mean, you know, I don't know this for a fact, but I do believe that, that the QAnon or the Q movement that is following Trump's, you know, it's a Trump supporter, was created by the elites. And then you got the Black Lives Matter, which was created by the elites. So it was to create hatred so that you can bring it all back together under unity, under the Agenda 2030. And how that's going to roll out, I don't know. Um, you know, there's, is there going to be civil unrest here in the States? Sure. Um, I, I think that that is a possibility. But in the end, there's peace. And that's what this is, you know, th th these things are designed that way. Okay. And then uh, the third thing that's going on right now is going to be equal playing field, you know, as, as some people have said. So the equal playing field is where the, you know, uh, you know, every country is sharing this this responsibility. You take, for instance, I mean, this Agenda 20, 
uh, or Agenda 21, was signed in 1992 by George Bush Sr. It's also the time in which NAFTA was rolled out, which sent all of our manufacturing out of the country. And then we built the tech. And then tech actually, you know, basically boomed during the early 2000s and, and up to, and then all of a sudden you got Clinton, which actually was involved in the Asia agreement, and right? So our tech companies went to China. And if you, you know, you have to look at things. Chinese people, everything that is being done right now is being done in China because the China people cannot fight against it. So the key takeaway points is this is the Great Reset. This is the Monetary Reset. The Healthcare Reset. And the Global Equal Playing Ground. Fiat money, otherwise known as paper money, is going away. Every transaction, whether it's business or personal, will be tracked. They will reduce the carbon footprint globally. They will push electric cars and autonomous driving. Renewable energy is going to be a primary focus including solar and wind power will replace current infrastructures to what we have today. They want to control all livestock inventory, processing and consumption. So you may end up seeing artificial meats being pressed upon us. Universal health care for all They will monitor speech and track everything, including everyone's location. They will monitor cybersecurity and threats worldwide. They will push every corporation for diversity. So if you like what you've seen, subscribe and like this video and share it amongst all your social media 